What's good, yo? Welcome to Making Gains TV, the show where we interview members and friends about the gains they're making in their everyday life. Today, on episode two, we have our first guest, Tyler Fizz, my man. Tyler Fizz, tell them about yourself. How old are you? I'm 12. 12? And what school do you go to? Saucon Valley. Saucon Valley. Um, what kind of activities are you involved in? Uh, baseball, football, wrestling, and karate. Baseball, football, wrestling, karate, and you and you go to school. I'm, yeah. I assume you're a student. And you go to school. Five things. Yeah. And like most of these things are year round, right? Like you're almost you're almost always doing something. Yeah. How do you manage that schedule, boss? Just go in whenever you can go. Just go in whenever you can yeah. go. And um, you, I guess your parents are a huge help giving you rides, right? Yep. So 12 years old, five different like activities and jobs. How do you, like, do you keep good grades? Yeah. How do you do that? Just studying whenever you get the chance. Yeah, yeah. studying a lot? Yeah. And then what about some of your uh, activities? Karate. You're pretty good at karate, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm a black belt. Black belt at the age of 12. It's, I don't know if at the age of 12 I've done so much cool accomplishments as you. Um, football. What position do you play? Uh, fullback and middle linebacker. Fullback and middle linebacker. I used to know a pretty good fullback, middle linebacker. Um, and then what else? Baseball? Yeah. What about baseball? What position are you there? Third base. Third base. Is baseball like year round or? Uh, not really. Not really? Just in the spring and summer? Spring and a little bit in the summer. Summer. Yeah. Okay. And then you also work <laughs> out. Yeah. You crush weights. Yeah. I've seen you do it. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. So, like, you do probably more than, I think, every 12-year-old. But you probably do a lot more than, like, adults and, like, just normal people. How do you, man like, does that ever wear you down? What, like, what like drives you to keep to keep a, such a busy schedule and, and, to be, and to be good at everything? Just want to be the best. Want to be, be the better best. than everyone else. Awesome. Where, like, where do you think that idea came from? Where that sprang up from? I just wanted to be remembered. I never wanted to really be like an average person. Awesome. You never wanted to be an average person. I think that's huge. Never wanted to be average. Above average is better, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. So um like what's probably your your most memorable of out of out of all your activities, what's your most memorable? Uh like, probably quali qualifying for states two years in a row. In wrestling. Wrestling. States qualifier two years in a row. That's awesome. What uh, was there any big matchups? What kind of like drove you to? Oh, uh, last year when I uh, like dislocated my shoulder and it popped out. Dislocated your shoulder? Yeah, and then. How's like, that a big matchup? That sounds like a Because then, then I wrestled through it. Ooh. And still qualified. Nice. That's heart, man. Yeah. You got a lot more heart than a lot of people I know. Um, so you wrestled through a dislocated shoulder. Did you like pin the dude? Was it a close match? Tell me about it. Oh uh, no, I just came back and. So you came back from behind. Yeah. With a dislocated shoulder. Yeah. How'd that feel? Felt great. Felt great. Yeah. Did you like? Did you go nuts? Or did you like? No. Run around the whole place. Match. You had another match. You had to save some juice for the next match. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what about football? Any like? Hope touchdowns or crazy matchups you were at? I've had some good touchdowns. Good touchdowns? What's like your longest, you think? 54 yard. 54 yarder? Yeah. That's awesome. I think my longest was like a 20 yarder. No, it's like five. In fact, just, just running the end zone, nose down. Um, so I, I just want to kind of, you know, because working with you all the time, I just wonder what makes you tick. And that's kind of the point of this show. What makes you make gains? Like, why, you know, you don't want to be average, but you're 12 years old. You're obviously, you know, not average. You're, I would say you're a superb 12-year-old. That's why you're on the show, you know. So, um, I hear wrestling. Tell me about that. Where do you, where do you practice? Uh, I practice at Weaver Elite uh, and Saucon Valley. Saucon Valley. And who do you, I heard your dad told me you kind of have some, like, big-name guys that you practice with. Yeah, I practiced with Jordan Burroughs uh, and other people. Nice. What was that like, Jordan Burroughs? He's in like a he's, bunch of commercials and Olympic uh, champion. That's pretty boss. Yeah. Do you think you want to be an Olympic champion one day? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sure. Put the work in. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Put the work in. Um, 
What, what goals do you have coming up? Let's talk about that. 2017 just started. Happy New Year. What uh, you got any big big time goals coming up? I want to win states. Win states. Yeah. How hard is that? How many matches? How uh, many like wins to start? Win, like four, five, six. I don't know. Four, five, six. Yeah. What about like? Is there a regular season? Is this just like different tournaments? There's a regular season, but I don't. I want to win states. Win states, nice. And this and it, is this through like your school or is it through a club program? Just uh throughout the district. Throughout the district. Yeah. The school district. No, in District 14, where all the teams are. Oh. Mm -hmm. What um? What do you think you need to do to prepare to win states? I need to uh, get back in shape. Okay. And uh, just got to wrestle harder than everyone else. Awesome. That is awesome. What about, um? so, like, tell me more about that dislocated shoulder and wrestling through that. What, what, what kind of went through your head there? Uh, that I just need to win. And <laughs> That's awesome. I, absolutely. That was just going through your head. I need to win yeah. at all costs, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. What else? Um, so how'd you manage like the pain? Did you just block it out? Did you just go nuts? I just wrestled, knew I needed to win, and I knew it could get fixed after the match. Yeah, we'll take care of it later, huh? Yeah. So living in the moment, huh? Taking yeah. care of the opportunity at hand. Mm -hmm. it, you know, you, you can't let the, the shoulder get to you, so you have to like buckle down and finish the mission, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome to understand at 12 years old. How long have we, how long have I known you? Since you were what, nine, ten? Yeah, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. That's pretty cool. So when um, when we look back at this, when it, when you're actually a champion, what do you want to tell yourself, your 18 year old like self in the future? Uh, gotta stay humble. And Ooh, very nice. Is 18 year old Fizz gonna stay humble? You think or what? I don't know. Maybe. You don't know. Maybe. What's? I mean, it's okay just to be a little cocky, right? Sometimes. Uh. Confident. So yeah, confident. Confident, not cocky. not cocky, my man. All right, shout outs. You got any shout outs for anybody at home? Uh, On YouTube, in the Facebook world, okay. social media? No shout outs? No. Nobody? No. What about the people that drove you here today? Well, yeah. Uh, my dad was a big help. Same with my mom and Coach Morales. Sweet. Nice talking to you, baby. Take care. Have fun at Bounce You, or whatever it's called. Free fall? Oh, that's awesome.